What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be going over how I hooked up my kill switch to my boat battery. Now the purpose of hooking up a kill switch to your battery is so you don't have any sort of phantom drains going on your battery when your boat is shut off. And what I mean by that is sometimes your accessories, if they're hooked up straight to your battery, are gonna slowly draw some current from that battery. And if your boat's not running to keep the battery charged after a few days or a week or even two, your battery could end up dead. And a dead battery is the last thing you wanna find out when you actually get out to the lake. So being that I just replaced my boat battery this year, I went ahead and I hooked up a kill switch. Now there are different types of kill switches out there. There's single kill switches where it's just a single battery, so pretty much an on and off and that's it. And then there's slightly bigger kill switches that allows you to hook up multiple batteries, which is what my goal is this year. So I have a brand new battery hooked up now with a two battery kill switch, but I only have one battery hooked up for now, but pretty soon I'm going to pick up a second deep cycle battery that I'm gonna have all of my accessories running off of. And then the main battery with the higher cold cranking amps is what I'm going to be using for starting the motor only. So without further ado, let's jump in. I'll go over real quickly what the switch looks like and how I wired it up real quick, and then I'll show you how it works. Let's jump in and let's get this started. Okay, so all I did was take my double post switch here that allows me to add one, two, or both batteries connected with a solid off for everything. It comes with three posts on the back. So being that I only have one battery, I hooked up the ground from my single battery to the battery one and then i took all of my negatives that go to all of my accessories to this out post here this extra post right here will go to my second battery when i actually get one but for now everything will be off and then once i switch this switch to battery one all of my accessories will then have power so let me go ahead and finish cleaning this all up i'm going to get this box mounted to the top of my battery box over here let me do that and we'll be right back Okay, so we're in the boat. Sorry for the mess here. It's just been raining almost every day for the past couple weeks here, and we haven't really had much time to get the boat out, so I pretty much just have it covered. But I just wanted to show you, I'm not going to turn on every single accessory here, but let's just use the horn for now. As you can see, the horn is not working, and that's because I have the battery switch shut off. Now, if I come back here, and I reach under right here, and turn that from off to battery one, which is right here. See where it says the one? Switch that over. Now, come back over here, hit the horn. There we go. And the same goes for all of my accessories. So basically when I'm not planning on using my boat, I just come back here. I either lift my top cushion or I just reach back over here, turn it to off. And once it's set to off, there's no accessories or motor drawing any current from that battery. So the only way it's gonna draw current is if I switch that switch to the number one position. Now eventually when I add my second battery, I can go ahead and wire up the second battery here to switch number two. And if you look at the switch from the top, you can see battery number one, battery one and two, or just battery two and then off. So I can choose which batteries I want to use. Most likely, I'll probably just switch it to one and two. But once I get my second battery, I'm gonna have to adjust how I wired this switch because I want to wire it up so that all of my accessories are running off of my deep cycle battery, which would be the second battery. And the motor is running off of this battery, which has the higher cold cranking amps. So I'll have to change how I wired this. But for now, I just have a cable running from the negative side of the battery to the bolt underneath of the switch labeled battery one. And then battery two is left blank for now because I don't have a battery hookup. But on the out post, I actually have all of my grounds for all of my accessories and my motor tied to that one post. That way, when this kill switch is in the off position, nothing is drawing current. As soon as I switch it to the one position, then I have my current. And I just mounted the box to the top of the battery box here. It's very easy to reach for me. It's out of the way, it's mounted, and we're good to go. So again, installation was not that hard. It's very easy. Everything worked great. The switch worked great. And I'm really happy with how this switch has been working out. So if you happen to be looking to add a kill switch to your boat battery setup, I would highly recommend checking out the Nylite version of these on off switches because this one has been working great for me and I'm really happy with it. Okay, so there you go. I just showed you how I hooked up the on off switch for my boat battery using the Nylite battery on off switch. 
installation was pretty easy it works great and now i have a quick and easy way of shutting off all of the accessories so that nothing is drawing power from my battery and when i need the power i just flip the switch and i'm good to go Doing it this way is going to make your battery last longer because let's face it, a lot of these accessories that we're adding to our boats, if you keep it hooked up to a direct current to your battery, eventually over time, if you're not using your boat on a regular basis to where your alternator of your motor is charging it, your battery probably will end up dead. So if you're always fighting with a dead battery or a low charged battery, you might want to consider adding a kill switch to your battery setup. But that's it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button to like this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. I truly appreciate you all. And as always, see you in the next video.